This project that commenced in 2020 marks a significant milestone in Uganda's efforts to develop its mineral resources. So we want to encourage investors and all well-wishers to come and unlock the potential in Karamoja in the middle sector. So there's a lot. It's a black check. If we are to keep poverty out of Uganda, then Karamoja has to be at the forefront in terms of uh, this mineral sector. The Karamoja Area Survey results provide vital insights into the mineral potential of Karamoja and Lamo, which will attract much-needed investment and pave the way for a more sustainable exploitation of the resources. The results of the project, which we, will be, which we are launching today, indicate high prospectivity from minerals such as iron ore, copper, gold, and limestone. We believe that these findings will attract significant investment in the mineral sector and contribute to the development of Uganda's economy. Now it is time to use this information to attract big investment while being very considerate that as a ministry we are promoting foreign investment but we must strike a balance with development of the citizenry. The report indicates high prospects for minerals such as iron ore, copper, gold and limestone. We are not coming here to change the tradition. We came here to map the minerals and inform you. The data from the airborne geophysical and geological mapping of Karamoja will not only support mineral exploration but also assist in attracting both local and foreign investment, contributing directly to Uganda's economic growth. We aim to ensure we attract formidable investors in the region of Karamoja, but also Lamu, so that with this investment we are able to unlock this particular wealth in the country. People of the area must really benefit out of this, through education, etc. Good enough. Some companies have already started doing so. According to Nankavidwa, the ministry will engage stakeholders, including investors, local communities, and other government agencies to ensure that the benefits of this project are shared equitably. Maureen Babidier, for UBC.